Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'd like to share a card that I created using Happy Birthday Gorgeous Stamp Set. I'm going to use a technique today that is including glossy paper with rubbing alcohol and ink refills. So as you can see, I've already gotten started and I have a piece of glossy paper. We do sell this at Stampin' Up! so you can order it today. Re-inkers are applied in a, depends on if you want a generous coverage or work yourself up in layers. I prefer to work in layers, starting out a little more light and bringing up to more color. On the blue area, I used Pool Party, and as you can see, as it dries, it kind of makes itself a little splotchy. I'm using rubbing alcohol in my Stampin' Spritzer, and I'm giving it a nice mist, but not making it completely run off of the card. I have about three or four paper towels that are folded and piled up together, and as the drip line comes down the paper, or as the ink pools up in certain areas, I am letting the paper towel catch and wick away the extra ink. On the bottom, I have used a little bit of yellow in So Saffron. I let that spread around a little bit, and then I added Calypso Coral, and I added it into a couple of droplets and instead of spraying that with alcohol right away, I'm letting the color spread out from the alcohol that was already on the paper. It looks like flower blooms to me, and that's exactly what I wanted to have on this card. I'm thinking that this is a summer field that's got a beautiful blue sky, some wonderful vibrant colored flowers in the foreground and maybe some grassy area in the background that has more of a of a wheat kind of look. I know it's a bit dreamy, but in my mind's eye, this is what it translated out to. To help the paper dry, I'm using my heat gun on a low setting and I'm being very careful not to overheat this card. To put some stamping on this, I know you can use different inks. I'm choosing to do some heat embossing. Keeping in mind that I am adding more heat to this panel of paper, I'm going to work carefully. So I'll add in stages the different stamps that I'm going to use for the gold embossing powder. I've added a couple of different things from Happy Birthday Gorgeous. I want to bring some of the flowers in and some of the background pieces. Th these look like um, maybe thistles or something of that sort. So I had them placed in the background or what was further away from the little orange flowers. And now I have the smallest rosette in the stamp set that is going to be stamped directly over those orange splotches to look like those are loosely watercolored looking flowers. Now I have a leaf stamp. I'm adding leaves in different areas and I thought it would be great to use just the pointy part of the leaf to make it look like there were some birds flying in the beautiful blue sky. So up towards the top of the card, you'll see some triangular objects. Those are supposed to be representations of birds. I'm trying to not stay in one area when I heat all of the embossing powder because I'm trying to make sure that this paper doesn't get overheated. However, because I did add so much fluid and so much heat, the paper would not lie flat and I used fast fuse adhesive 
all over the back of it to adhere it down to a panel of thick whisper white cardstock. I then used Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere that down to my thick whisper white card base. I'm stamping the sentiment that says Forever Young in gray ink because that's a neutral complement to all of the wonderful action that's happening on the front of the card. For the inside panel, I'm using the same stamps that I used on the front from Happy Birthday Gorgeous, and I'm using it in the same Calypso Coral hue of ink that I also used on the front. So I'm echoing the design theme and the design colors from the front of the card into the inside of the card. Also, I'm adding some leaves and bringing different interest in so that the inside of the card looks just as pretty. In fact, my oldest son had a look at the card and he decided that he wanted to keep this one for his own. Thank you for joining me for another card making tutorial. I invite you to my blog at jennystampsup.com where you'll find a new card idea every day. Be sure not to miss the exclusive content I share only with my customers. You can become a customer by clicking Shop Now at JennyStampsUp.com to make your Stampin' Up! purchase. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!